served in the United States Marine Corps for 22 years, uh, served with helicopter units in Vietnam three times to Vietnam. North Vietnam unit, we knew there, the Marine Corps knew they were there, they didn't know how large they were. It was a prize that they were large, about division size, NVA unit, and we stuck a battalion of Marines in there, and it became a heavy battle as we carried them into battle there. Thirteen Marines to one helicopter here, but they brought down all their automatic 32 millimeter heavy weapons there, and they shot one of our aircraft out of the air. We, we watched them go down, burning and smoking, and hoping they would all survive, but they crashed right close to a Marine unit already on the ground there, and 13 of them infantry died, and one crew member, my, my good friend, I served with in 1962, way down in the Macon Delta there, he died, he got trapped under the helicopter and they couldn't lift it off of him, so he, he died well, there. We remember him. Uh, and I mean, he fought us in war and said, I don't even, I wasn't even born for him. I joined the uh, Army Air Corps uh, back in 1947, when I was out of, just out of school. Uh, school. <laughs> After boot camp, well, I was deployed to uh, Aleutian Islands at ADAC. And I, that's about what, well, I went to school for uh, a parachute rigger in Illinois before I went to Aleutian Islands. That's about what, well, I went to school for uh, a parachute rigger in Illinois before I went to the Lucian Islands. Uh, when I came back in, in the States, well, I was stationed at the uh, National Airport for, uh, uh, I had uh, with the uh, honor guard on uh, President Truman's air, uh, number one Air Force plane. And, uh, so you served, you, you, you served on that plane? Mm -hmm. I was just, uh, oh, I done the inspection on it too, so uh, that's, uh, I was more or less in the emergency equipment mm -hmm. up there in Washington, D.C. So after I spent about a year and a half there, well, I, that's where I got discharged. Mm -hmm. 